Hello, this is Dark Elf from HelloBards.com, and today I will be showing you how to use Pokesav. Pokesav is basically a computer program for hacking Pokemon Diamond and Pearl on the Nintendo DS. So, let's hop right in. When you open up Pokesav, you get this window showing up. Um, on it is all kinds of options you can use um, to hack your game. So, at the start it shows you can hack your ID, your secret ID, and your figure icon. Now, your figure icon is not your actual avatar in game, but instead it's the icon that people see when they trade with you on GTS and when you battle people on wireless. Underneath, you can see your playtime, and below that, uh, you can see when you started your adventure. You can change this to anything you want, either 1492 to 2007, it really doesn't matter. Below that, you can edit everything in your bag. This includes items, medicine, pokeballs, TMs and HMs, berries, mail, and battle items. Below that, you can also edit your key items, your events, and your Pokédex. Um, moving back up, you can edit your name and your rival's name. Um, for the sake of this example, we'll say I want to change my name to John and rival's name to, I don't know, Bob. Okay, you can change that if you want. You can also change your money, give yourself infinite money, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can change your score. Beneath that, you can change your trainer gender. If you're a male, you can switch to female. A female, switch to male. It really doesn't matter. To the right, you can edit your record system, your traps, spears, treasures, and goods for the underground. Beneath that, you see... Um, party Pokemon, and this allows you to edit the Pokemon in your party to whatever you want. Uh, I'll get into that a bit later. Below that, you can edit your location, which uh, using XYZ coordinates will place your guy anywhere on the map that you want. And below that is Repel Sprays. Now, this um, you can edit your repels to any amount of steps you want until they run out. So I could edit this to 500, and all my repels would last for 500 steps. <coughs> so. On the right of that is storage, accessories, Pokétex, Seal, Poffin, and Palpark. So, Palpark allows me to edit all the Pokémon that will appear in Palpark, all six of them. Um, this will include their moves, stats, etc. Um, seals, you can't see all of this, but you can pick any seals you want, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can also edit your Pokétex, um, you can enable and disable everything on it, so whatever you want. Uh, you can edit your storage, um, so you can edit what Pokemon you want in your box and what slots. You can also change your box name, its wallpaper, the basic stuff. Okay, now the main point of this video is to show how to edit your party Pokemon, since most people will be interested in hacking Pokemon instead of changing their name and stuff like that. So you click edit on number one, and a window pops up called Pokemon Edit. So, at the start, you can choose what Pokemon you want to use. For sake of example, we'll use Abra. Now you can choose the item. Um, we'll choose Leftovers, since that's always a good choice. Below that is your Trainer ID and Secret ID. Now you can input someone else's, but if you want to input your own, just leave it at zero, and it'll automatically show up in game. Below is the level, you can set it at whatever you want, we'll just say 100, and the experience points below that change accordingly. Um, below that is friendship, and you input a value 0 through 100 there. 0 means they hate you, 100 means, means that they love you, so we'll put it at 100. A little bit below that you have attributes, and you click that. This allows you to change your nature, we can change it to bold. Um, choose your class, first or second, and gender. The first question mark is male, the second one is female, and obviously click or unclick for shiny Pokemon. Okay, a little bit below that you will see option called Pokerus. Now, if you click infected, your Pokemon will be infected forever and it will never get cured now. So that's not a bad thing, but some people don't, don't like that. Or you can click cured. Now this option your Pokemon will not have the Pokerus, however, he won't be able to get it, so you can leave it unchecked if you want. Personally, I like to pick Infected. A little, a little bit below that, you have individual values. Um, the max is 31, and normal Pokemon do not have more than one value with 31. However, you can set them all to 31 if you want. That's normally what I do. 
Um, a little bit below that you see EVs or effort values. Um, there's 510 of them is max, however when you hack you can put as many effort values as you want on there. Below that is conditions. Um, this is for basically um, contest. I don't like to mess with them since I don't do contest. To the right is more contest stuff like completing ranks and stuff. Apparently there's one ribbon that if you have you won't be able to trade that Pokemon on GTS, so I always leave them unchecked to, just to be safe. Alright, moving back up, you can choose your Pokemon's name. Um, if you click original name though, you have to be careful because there are spaces from the last letter, and if you don't delete those, it'll show up on your game, and it won't look good at all. It'll obviously be hacked, and a really bad hack job at that. So we'll just keep it at Abra. Um, own OT name, it'll change it to John for you. Trainer gender, we've already went over that, it doesn't matter. Okay, moving down, what Pokeball you caught it with, we'll say, caught it with a Safari Safari Ball, just because. Ability, if you don't want it to look hacked, you'd choose Abra's normal ability, but I like to choose Wonder Guard. Now, Wonder Guard's only available on one Pokemon, and it only, um, you only get hit by an attack if it's super effective, so it's pretty powerful so I like to choose Wonder Guard and then you can use different markings for your Pokemon I just won't mark any uh, below that is your move set and you can select any four moves it doesn't matter what I'll just choose some random ones for sake of example um, um, after you choose your moves you can set the PP to whatever you want it doesn't matter um, if you set it more than it will be, it'll show up like 18 out of 10 and stuff like that, but it doesn't matter. Um, max out all the PPs by clicking all max. Moving back up, um, to make it look legit, say what level you met it at, we'll say we met it at 3. And, um, let's just say it was like, um, Space World 10, just because. Um, date met now whatever you want we'll say we caught it um, 1492 um, on Christmas that sounds cool egg location since the Pokemon you're making is not an egg you don't need to worry about that you also don't need to worry about what date the egg was received however you do need to worry about hometown um, just say whatever you want I usually use Shino ribbons this is what I was talking about one of them will not let you trade to on GTS so I don't check any of them it's no big deal after you've done that um, take special note that for unknowns Burmy, Wormadon, Shellos, Gastron, and Deoxys they all have different forms and if you're choosing one of them there'll be a drop down menu and it will allow you to select what form you want and now the most important part is you cannot forget to edit your stats. So you have your level, your max HP, your attack, all that. You can say level 100, all max. Um, this takes into consideration IVs and EVs. Um, if you want, you can set things to 999. However, if you set all things to 999 and you put it into your storage, when you take it out, all the stats will be messed up. It won't be 999 anymore. So you'd have to leave that Pokemon in your party forever. So personally, I just don't bother with that. Okay, so you have to, after you've done that, you click OK. Um, you can create however many you want. Um, once you've done that, you change your party member amount to 1. And if that's all you've wanted to edit, you go over here and you click ARDS Code Output. You have all the options to check what we changed, we changed the trainer name, the rival's name, the money, and Pokemon 1 along with the party member's amount. Now, um, read that it says press L plus R to activate codes. Do not use too many setup output codes at the same time because this could crash your game and you don't want that. So you say save file and once it pops up, I usually just save it to my desktop. You can write testing 2, whatever you want save that once that's been saved you can cancel and open up your action replay code manager